In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the quest, the hunt for the Jadeite Orb. Now, first things first is that this is going to take place in Checkpoint Rest Town. And the way you actually get here is from Vernworth, is, is the quickest way is from Vernworth. So from Vernworth over here, if you actually take the ox cart to the west, this one over here, it will actually ride you all the way along to the very far left of the map, which is a massive distance, by the way. Like, look how far this, this is. So use the ox cart to get here. And in this village, you will find this NPC over here, right here, this guy called Ovolv, Ovolv, And he'll tell you about a Jadeite orb that he wants you to go ahead and find. Now you can find him standing right over here near the ox cart. But if you go ahead and you walk up the road a little bit further, like this, you'll actually see there is another NPC with a similar backpack, this guy over here, Everard, who is also looking for the Jadeite orb who is also looking for the Jadeite Orb. So what do you do when two people want the Jadeite Orb and you don't even have the Jadeite Orb? Now, just as a quick reference, this guy that we're standing at right now can be found on the corner of the road right here. Well, I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you where to get the Jadeite Orb and how to make duplicates of the Jadeite Orb. But now we're gonna be progressing to the Ibrahim's Scrap Store. So from this location, we're gonna run around the road like this and you'll see we'll go down a bit of a dip here and you'll see there's a store over here and we'll speak to the guy. And when you go ahead and you buy something from him, you'll actually be able to buy the Jadeite Orb over here as well as a few other interesting, you know, things like, you know, the Beastron Mosque, you're probably gonna need in the future too. But you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna buy the Jadeite Orb and then you're gonna tell him to make a forgery of the item. So you'll see here, I've made a forgery. I've received the original Jadeite Orb and I've received the imitation of the Jadeite Orb. When you first speak to him, you'll have the option to request a forgery. And then all you gotta do is select an item you want him to make a forgery of, and he will literally make an imitation of one of the items. And it's going to just cost a certain amount of gold, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. So this is a way to get multiple of these Jadeite Orbs in one go. It will take a few in-game days until he's ready, but once he is, you can come and collect your forgery. Your quest will then be updated to bring the Jadeite Orb to the individual who requested it. Now we have the two people who we can give it to, Ofalv or Everard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the fake one to Ofalv because he's not going to know it's the fake one. Give him the forgery. Let's go ahead and give him one of these and deliver it. And now he's going to run away. After giving you 3000 gold, an elite camping kit, and you know, you also get XP. Now for the best reward, it's actually better to give Everard the real Jadeite Orb. He's going to want to verify the orb's authenticity with you. So maybe giving him the forgery was a mistake. But at least I'm letting you guys know. I hope my boy Ibrahim backs me up and tells me, no, that's the real one, bro. This man paid me 2,000 gold to make a forgery. Like, he's like, dude, customer. Now, if you did give him the fake one, you can always speak to this guy over here and give him 1,000 gold. But then he's going to want 2,000 gold, then 3,000 gold, and then 6,000 gold for a total of 12,000 gold to back you. So do keep in mind, if you give Everard the fake one, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to bribe him 12,000 gold so that he tells Everard that it's the real deal. So just give him the real deal instead of spending 12,000 gold. I mean, you know, it's just like the most logical conclusion before Everard gets back. And you'll get a reward of 12,000 gold for this as well as the Ring of Skullduggery. You'll have to make the decision of whether you give the real one or the fake one to any of these two characters. I will recommend, though, that you give the real one to Everard and the fake one to Ofolv, because Everard is going to take it for an inspection check, which means you're going to have to pay a bribe to Ibrahim to make sure that he says it's real, and that's going to cost just as much as the reward that you're going to get from Everard. So, and that's going to be like like 12,000 gold around, I think, or like 10,000 gold. I don't know. It's a lot of gold. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and thank you so much for watching.